if you wanna learn good oats efficiently, this is the video for you. I will give you the exact path that you have to follow in order to become a good oats expert. Because I do know that with so much information out there on the internet, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. By the end you will have a super clear roadmap about how to master good oats. Not only that, but also at the end of the video, I will give you access to a document summarizing all the resources mentioned throughout the video. And now, let's get started. If I were you, I would start off directly in the good old documentation that it is super well written and easy to follow along, more exactly in the step by step section, in which you will cover the most basic things of good old, such as notes and scenes. Basically, how to structure a scene, how to use notes. You will also create your first scripts to actually get started into creating something playable. And also how to use some specific things in Guido, such as signals. And with this, you will have the enough knowledge in order to start creating your actual first games. And once again, the Guido documentation provides a full written course on how to create your first 2D game step by step. And after creating your first 2D game, you can go ahead and actually start off in the 3D world by creating this other 3D game. Then I would go to the king of YouTube tutorials brackets and I would take this GD script course, completely focus on the syntax and different functions that, G that GD script, the good old programming language offers. Then I would also consider taking this other course of brackets. But in this one, you do create a 2D complete game. And the quality is as good as the previous brackets course that I showed. The explanations, the video quality, and literally everything is the best material that you're going to be able to find for free on YouTube. I would also recommend this two hour and a half course. This is a course that I created myself, but I am not actually making self promotion here. But the thing is that there is so much work behind this course, so many interesting explanations behind that I think it can also be worth watching. Maybe the quality of everything is not as good as the one that you may have in brackets that there is a whole uh, team behind a much more budget. But well, you will still be able to learn a lot. And also mentioning other free course from a small YouTuber, maybe not as big as brackets. But it is still an amazing course on how to create a 3D RPG action game. So with all these courses you will have both experience in 2D and 3D. In terms of paid courses, I really recommend the Good Oats Mobile Game Development Mini Degree available at Themba that has 8 courses adding up to something like 18 hours of content. And it also have the Good Oat 4 Game Development Mini Degree with 24 courses and over 45 hours of content. Also, Game Dev TV offers a bundle of over 51 hours that contains courses on both 3D, 2D, and even in mobile game development. After starting off with all that information that by the way you don't have to consume all those hours of content and you don't even have to pay for those courses because the information that I showed completely free on YouTube is more than enough but well if you do have the budget and if you do want to take your game development skills to the next level or if you want a more structured learning pathway definitely buying some of those courses that I showed is going to be worth it. But well, after all that, you have to start creating things alone. And the good thing is that throughout those courses, you had created tons of games and projects that you are able to modify. So I would start right there. I would do a copy of any of the projects that you like and that you had created. And I would start messing around a little bit, modifying the code and adding more things to it. In the documents, I provide some specific ideas for this, so make sure that you stick until the end to unlock it. But well, the idea is that you already have a basis, a base game that you had created and that on top of that you add some layers of complexity. And also at the same time of after doing this, you can remake some games that are already existing on the Play Store or in any other platform. 
The idea is that you do this with the least information possible from the outside. Of course, you can always take a look at more resources, documentation, tutorials, etc. But that you start uh, not relying on step-by-step -step courses to add these features. Step 3 is start developing your own games. In the previous step, you were actually remaking some games that were already existing or modifying some that you had already created in a step-by-step -step tutorial. But now you have to actually start developing your own games because by doing that, you will actually get an idea of how it is actually to develop your games. Because, of course, there are a lot of things that change when you follow a step-by-step -step course and then you start to develop your own games without that guide. So to begin, I would find a concept you like, a game, a feature, etc. You can go to the top charts in any platform for this, for example. And you can think of different questions such as how can it be improved, what can be added, or even what mechanics can be merged from different games to create a new one. And following all these questions, you can start developing your own games. Of course, as these are going to be your first projects, it is quite understandable that you're going to be facing lots of errors, that you're not really going to be understanding how to continue. But the idea is that you're able to finish at least one project that is in some way innovative or that it is not a 100% a copy of something that is already existing so that you are not only able to demonstrate to yourself that you're able to code something new but also to ideate on that something and create something new and let's say unique. And by doing this and sticking to the path, you're going to actually be able to master Godot. Not only Godot, but actually any other engine or any other thing that you may want to learn outside of programming. Always remember, there is not just one definitive path that you have to follow completely because this is not a school, this is not something that you have to be following A, B, C, D, E. You can always adapt this path, but well, at least this is a basics from which you can start. Because I do understand that when you look for Godot tutorial, Godot course, there are just so many options out there and it is complicated to choose the best ones. But well, right now you do know at least where to start off and from there you will know where to look for and where to continue at. To access the document with all the information summed up, you just have to go to the description down below and in the first line you will find it completely for free. The links, of course, just in case I'm mentioning this, are not sponsored or anything like that. I've done everything for free, so really appreciate that you could subscribe to the channel because this can really help me create more videos in the future. And you will also be receiving notifications when new videos are published that I'm sure will help you out. See you in the next one and bye bye. Thanks a lot for watching.